Efrian is going to show us how to prepare a healthy salmon dish here at the Capital Grill restaurant. Okay, so I see we have a few ingredients here, and um, this is for the sauce, am I right? This is fresh onion. peas, yeah. fresh garden peas. We have brown onions, mm -hmm. we have some fresh mint, we have vegetable stock. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, there's no flour or anything in, mm -hmm. like, in there. We turn our attention to uh, the, our main item. Mm -hmm. This is salmon from Norway. It looks so delicious. It's very, very clean, very, yeah. very clear. And not too much fat as well, I think, yes. which is very important, right? So let's get started with our veggies. Yeah. So we're going to get you to do the, uh, the vegetables. I'll work with you. I'd love to. So we have we the have green, green capsicum. Yeah, green capsicum. We have the yellow capsicum mm -hmm. and the red capsicum. Yeah. We're going to do a slice of the green zucchini and the yellow zucchini. never really understood what the difference in taste was between these two zucchinis. These are basically the same, I just like different colors. Yeah, it looks nice. Alright, okay. so what we're going to do, we're just going to okay. chop the side, one cheek of each capsicum, that's it. Yeah. This is so sharp, it's That's great. It. You have to be very, very careful. Yeah. Okay, so let me do this. Okay. What we've got here, we're gonna get, we are gonna get rid of the inside here. Uh, get rid of the seeds. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut it in half like mm -hmm. this. Okay. And then we're gonna go over and grill it. Okay. So how so, many cups of fresh peas are these? Well, I do 100 grams of fresh peas. You can use the frozen ones. Yeah. They're just as good. Okay. We have our vegetable stock. Yeah. We're just going to put that in. And How much mint. vegetable stock approximately? We're going to use, well, we've actually just used all of it. Okay. But Little chef's tip, we actually strain this. We're gonna strain this out. Ah, I see. And we're gonna keep that mm -hmm. to measure how thick we want it after. Mm, then you can always keep on adding, right? That's right. And instead of using just regular water without any benefits, health benefits, you can use um, the, the water that you use for cooking, right? Exactly. And then you have all the vitamins in that's it. That's right. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. <laughs> Our mint, we're actually gonna blend this later. We're not mm -hmm. gonna cook the mint. We're gonna uh, warm it with the heat of the peas when we're blending. Okay, All right. right. That'll be enough, actually. That'll you don't actually enough. need to cook it. Mm. That's right. So what we have here is our salmon. Yep. Very nice blue board, as you can see. So we're gonna try and get 200 grams here. We've got a nice, clean fish. All the pin bones have been taken out. Lovely and clean. So later, we're going to sear this and put this in the oven. Okay. Okay. So we've done our salmon. We're just going to season this and marinate it with salt and pepper. Okay. So salmon, skin side, we'll season both sides. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just a little bit of lemon juice. So what we have here is a nice medium heat. And then just leave it like that. Okay. After a minute, we're gonna go into the oven. We're gonna cook it for eight to 10 minutes until it's just cooked. Some people like it well done and you cook that for 10 minutes. Some people like medium rare. Even for a salmon, you can still do meat temperatures. So if you like that, eight minutes, okay? I'll turn our attention to our pea sauce. We have our peas, we have our onions, and we have our vegetable stock until it's just cooked. Season with a bit of salt, season with a bit of pepper. 
We're gonna go and blend that later. Our last item is our quinoa. Just follow the instructions on the packet. What we have here is just some boiling water. No need to measure, just as long as there's enough to cover the quinoa. Boiling water and rain it in. And just give that a stir. Just don't forget about the residual heat afterwards. So we've just seared the salmon in the pan and put it in the oven for 10 minutes. The quinoa is cooking for 10 minutes as well. And in the meantime, we're gonna prepare the peas. So right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna strain this out, like I said before, and then we're gonna put it in our blender yeah. and adjust the thickness that we need with the liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So what we've got here is our peas. And we, what we've done, we strain the whole thing out and we've just added a little bit of uh, mm. water in. Okay. I'm very familiar with this process. I puree baby food, so yep. <laughs> I know how this is done. <laughs> okay, we'll just put that in and press start. Wow, it's still so hot, like there's a lot of steam coming That's out. It. And you said we were going to add the mint leaves only later. Yes, so correct. Would this be the timing? Then? This is the time that we add our mint leaves. Yeah. And you can see that it actually, we've actually just judged it quite well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells really fresh. Like, you can really smell the mint. So what we're going to do now, we have our quinoa that's been boiling for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do, we're going to strain this out. And that's basically it. Yeah. That's cooked quinoa. Great. And what we're going to do... Mm -hmm. We have our fresh quinoa. Yes. We are going to do some white pepper. Yep. And our grilled vegetables. Spread it out. What I have here is just some chopped fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. It's really high in vitamin C, I think. What, yes. What I never realized. Okay, so what we've got is our quinoa, our pea puree, and our salmon. Mm -hmm. This has been cooked on the skin side down the whole way through. So hopefully we should end up with a very crispy skin. Okay, so we're not forgetting our residual heat. Beautiful color. And that's I been think that's, yeah. the whole way through. I think okay. it's going to be quite crispy. Yep. So the way that we plate this stuff here, we have our pea puree. Okay. What we do, it's all up there. It looks so fluffy it does. <laughs> and like <laughs> light and airy. It's great. And then we're going to get quinoa. Adding all the vegetables that we can. Now just remember this is our take and what we're doing here is just grilled vegetables. You can add absolutely any vegetables that you wish and it's just up to you. Okay so we're gonna gently take our salmon. in the middle. What a hearty meal. There you go. And then just... Microgreens. Microgreens. They're like a staple, I find, in a lot of restaurants, right? right? now, yes. Yeah. Everyone has this kind of selection, and, and I totally understand why. It looks so beautiful. There you go. Thank you so much, That Shakaraya. is our salmon with grilled vegetable quinoa salad and a pea and mint sauce.
Let me try. Have some of the salmon with a crispy skin. Yeah. It's not always easy to achieve that, so. And then we'll have some quinoa and pea sauce. I love it, the salmon skin is so crispy. And then you have the pea sauce that is really quite refreshing. So I think it's a really nice combination with the salmon. Thank you so much, Chef Ryan, for showing us how to prepare this healthy dish. Thank you very much for coming. I hope to be back soon. Indeed. <laughs>